content creators, entrepreneurs, new business owners, I see them making these mistakes and these are things that I need you to stop doing like immediately. All right, so it feels like this is more so turning into a podcast. I don't know. It's not structured like most YouTube videos. That's not my focus right now. So shrug, I mean shit. If y'all can think of any ways I can improve, let me know, put it in the comments. But I mean, it's more so about the topics and the conversations and providing the value. Anyway, I say all that to say, today's topic, we're talking about video because video is very important these days, especially if you're an entrepreneur, if you're a content creator, the written word is great, audio is great but nothing builds a stronger relationship than video. Video is one of the strongest tools. It gives you that face-to-face -face connection. Your audience can see who you are. They see your mannerisms. They hear how you talk. They can get a really good sense of who you are just by looking at video. So that's one, it helps build a connection. Two, 91% of people on Instagram say they spend most of their time watching videos. So if you're not putting out video, if you're only putting out images, it's gonna be rough. I'm not even gonna sugarcoat it. It's gonna be tough trying to really build a following and build a brand using only images or more so if you're trying to do that using a platform like Instagram or TikTok. If you're more so focused on Reddit, Twitter, Facebook, things like that, Pinterest, you can absolutely build up a platform that way. But one of the best ways to connect with your audience and build a real relationship is by getting in front of the camera and talking to the people talking to your audience, talking to your potential clients, talking to your community, shout out to the content squad. If you haven't joined the content squad, make sure you hit the thing in the thing thing. So we're gonna talk about video because it's something that you should be focusing on if you haven't brought it into your content strategy or your marketing strategy for this year. Why not? Why haven't you? Put it in the comment. Is it a camera side thing? Do you not know what to talk about? Do you not know how to set it up? What is it? Like, let me know what it is because everybody should be making video right now. You have everything that you need to get started creating video literally in your pocket. There's really no reason not to. There's so many tools and apps and softwares and things and people just willing to help you get started. With that being said, we're gonna talk about some mistakes I keep seeing on people's videos. So yeah, let's hop right into it. First problem I see with a lot of content creators is they have bad quality video. It doesn't matter if you're using an iPhone 10 or Galaxy 6, some of them have lower quality, but a lot of times it just comes down to having proper lighting. Y'all can't see it, I don't wanna move like this shit too much, but I got one light here, I don't know if y'all can see it. I got another light here. I don't know if y'all can see it. Boom. Hopefully I put that back right. You don't need all this. You just need a well-lit room. That's why a lot of people, sometimes they'll record in their bathroom or in the car. Best place to do it is just like in a room next to a window. If you don't have any lighting, don't worry about it. There are some very affordable tools that you can use. I'll put a link to a couple ring lights and stands below, like less than $100 to get you started. If you're gonna be serious about creating content, especially for your brand or your business, you need to invest in some equipment. It doesn't have to be super big and set up like this. I actually wanna get less because I feel like this is a lot. If you don't have it right now, that's fine but record next to a window where you're getting like some natural light in, you're getting some sunlight from outside. If you can only record at night, record in a bathroom or record in a room where you're like next to a light and it's like shining on you. Just find somewhere where there's good lighting. Stop recording in the dark, stop recording where there's super low light in the room. It's not gonna translate well onto the timeline, onto the feed. Along with that, a lot of people will record and use their front camera. The back camera has much better quality than the front camera. You can use a front camera if you have the right lighting. The back camera is always gonna give you better quality. So if you can, start using the back camera. Set it up so your phone is in front of a mirror or like use this little thing. It's called like a gooseneck phone holder or something like that. You can just clip it to your desk or nightstand, whatever. There's very simple things that you can add that will help take your content to the next level. You feel me? Just those few things alone will immensely help the quality of the product you're putting out. So number one, video quality. That's one of the big issues. Second issue I would see is your audio. Audio is bad. Audio is bad, bad. If people are listening to your content and people are actually watching with the sound on, they're not going to keep watching. They probably won't finish if you have bad quality audio. Luckily, the script video editor has a built-in AI that edits your sound so that it sounds like podcast audio. You can always order a microphone off of Amazon or just record in a quiet place where there's not a lot of like background sound and stuff that interferes with your video. Bad audio is a quick way to get people turned off and have them move on. 
but that's not as important as the next one. The next biggest problem that I see is that people aren't using captions. And I don't mean like a caption for the video. We'll talk about that in a second. I mean actual captions on the video. One, it's insensitive to people who are hearing impaired. It's, a, it's an accessibility thing. Also, most people aren't scrolling with the sound on. So if they're scrolling and they see your video and it looks interesting, but there's no captions and they're somewhere loud or somewhere where they can't turn their sound on or can't hear you, they're just gonna keep going. Most people are like in public places or with their friends and family or something, they have their sound off. So they're just scrolling and seeing video. If they see your video and there's no caption, it's just you talking, there's no words letting them know what you're saying, they're not gonna try and figure it out or hold it to their ear. No, they're just gonna keep scrolling. So the way to combat that is to make sure you're putting captions on all your videos every video where you're just talking to the camera if you're like if you're speaking should have some captions just to make it easier i know most people i know y'all getting up there in age i watch all y'all shows with the subtitles on don't play like you don't why don't you put subtitles on your videos like you know how hard it is to hear while you crunching on the cheeto trying to hear what they're saying no you need to be able to read that shit. so make sure you put your captions on make sure they can see what you're saying all right Next biggest problem, and I did this a lot with a lot of the content I put out earlier, but that's because I was cutting that from like long form content and was just trying to put content out. But one of the biggest issues, and I've made this mistake so many times, is not having a call to action on your video. People are very impressionable. People follow instructions. So if you tell them to do something, maybe not everybody will do it, but some people will. And that's all you really need. Any content that you put out should have some type of call to action. Doesn't matter if it's leave a response, answer this question, comment, follow, subscribe, share this with somebody, put this in your story, remix this, duet this. There's so many different call to actions that you can use, but every piece of content you put out should have some type of call to action in it. If you put out a reel and there's no call to action in the video, make sure there's a call to action in the caption. And the video should be telling people what's the next step. Subscribe for more. If you enjoyed this, if you found value, send this to somebody, answer this question, whatever it is, there should always be some type of, hey, this is what you should do next. If you made it this far, if you made it to the end of my video, if you read all the way through my caption, there should be something for them to do next or else they're just gonna keep going. They're just gonna keep scrolling and keep go to the next page, next video you missed the opportunity to possibly have them go to your page, have them go download something from your link in bio, sign up for something. A lot of times you're not getting the actions that you want from people just because you're not asking them to do anything. Always wanna have a call to action no matter what. That made sense, hit the like, hit the subscribe, make sure you hit the follow button, turn on your post notifications. Next biggest problem I see is there's no captions in your video. I know we talked about captions earlier, like subtitles, but there's no caption to your video. As far as the algorithm goes, as far as like your video showing up on people's feed and the explore page, the caption plays a big part in that because it literally tells YouTube or Instagram, whatever it is, this is what my video is about. This is what my video pertains to. This is who it's for. This is why I created this should have hashtag pick towards my target audience or people who will find this video enjoyable who might like seeing this video. A lot of y'all are le leaving opportunities out there just by not putting a thoughtful caption, not taking a second to come up with something that's enticing or gonna get people interested, give them some backstory to why you created the content in the first place. Having a solid caption filled with keywords and hashtags will help get your content in front of other people by not filling it out, by just half-assing it and not putting any effort to your caption. It leaves so much opportunity, so much lost potential for your content by not using that space. If you're batch creating your content, content write all your captions out for the videos beforehand have them like set in a note or a database or a google doc whatever it is have them set somewhere so you can just copy and paste if you don't do that go to chat gpt type in write a caption for this content explaining this doing this whatever make sure you use a strong call to action and hashtags literally tell ai what you need from it to make sure you have a solid caption that's engaging the last issue i see with a lot of people is that they're not paying attention to their analytics they're not paying attention to their watch time they're not paying attention to the watch duration they're not paying attention to when their view falls off they're only looking at likes or vanity metrics things that don't really matter a lot of marketing is just optimizing or improving on what you're doing or what's working. So by not paying attention to the content that you're posting and seeing what's driving engagement, what's getting people to follow you and book a call or whatever, if you're not paying attention to what's causing those actions to take place, 
you can't improve on it. You can't make it better. You'll just be guessing, trying to figure it out as you go. If you go to your Instagram, go to insights and just look at your analytics, look at how many followers you've gained, how many views you've gotten on different reels, your most popular content. Instagram literally shows you what videos are the most popular or what videos have done the best in the past 30 days. Pay attention to what gets people to stop and share or comment. What hook did you use? What did you say at the beginning? Did you have the camera a certain way? Pay attention to all of the things that go into creating the content. Because once you're able to focus in and figure out what it is that's really getting you the results you're looking for, you can double down on that and make sure you're utilizing that more and be like, oh, People pay attention when I do this, or people like when I ask this, or this hook really was really strong. I need to come up with more like that. Like, Just pay attention to those different things so that you can constantly be getting better. I think it was from Atomic Habits. The goal is just to get 1% better every day. If you could put out 100 videos in the next year, that's two videos a week. If you could put out 100 videos in the next year and just get 1% better with every video, I don't know what percentage that would be, but you'll be hella better than you were when you started. So don't focus on being perfect or try to create the perfect content. Just focus on creating when you feel creative and then getting better as you go. Always analyzing and looking at what you've done and just figuring out how you can improve it and how you can make it better. Speaking of making it better, this next video that I shot probably has something to do with that. I'm pretty sure it has something to do with making better content or making more money as a content creator. That's mainly what I talk about. So there's a good chance that this video has something to do with that. Make sure you hit the like, subscribe, follow all the shit, the normal shit. Yeah, see y'all in the next one.